Hi everyone, Carmen Broxma here with Choose Joy with Carmen. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Arvada, Colorado, and in today's video I am going to show you my thoughts and creation behind Craft Roulette episode number 132. So the parameters for that episode was the project had to be a slimline card, which isn't my favorite thing to do, but you know, we do what the wheel tells us, right? So the colors had to be purple and orange plus one color, one other color. And that doesn't include the neutrals. The neutrals, you know, don't count as that other color. So I can use a whole different color. And then the element <clears throat> had to have a sack element to it. And then the random was sequins or gems. So I got to thinking about it and thought, well, you know, I'm always trying to think of something right now. Craft fair is on my mind constantly. So I'm always trying to think of something to make that would be cute that, you know, that would sell at a craft fair. So I was thinking that I really liked crafty owls you know call me crafty owls um september 2022 sheet load of cards where she made that mini slimline uh tent topper card so i had this in mind and i was thinking hmm so maybe i thought maybe i could make a bag for my top part here and that could hold either candy or a gift card holder or something like that. But the problem was when I started designing it, I wanted to add quite a lot of little elements to my card. So I decided I needed to go with the full slimline card, which then I had to kind of make adjustments to figure out how much of my bag was going to take. So... I had to do some calculating. And so what I ended up doing was uh, Stampin' Up! has these slimline envelopes. So I used it as my reference point to decide how big I needed to make my card. So here, and then I found this mini pocket envelope and these dies. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be perfect for this sack element, right? Or whatever parameter that was for. The sack was for the element, yeah. And then I'll show you th this little thing. I had to kind of figure out what all these little pieces were because I had never used this die set. And then we have, Stampin' Up! has this craft um, six by six paper pack. And so I really like it because... Um, we used to carry craft, but now it's kind of crumb cake, and that's really not a sack look. This this definitely looks like a paper sack. So that's what I decided to do, and because I was going to, you know, make a sack, I didn't know what to do for that. So I went in and pulled in a bunch of Halloween stamps, and I'll show you as I go along what I used from each of these sets. So let's pull the card in and show it to you. So here it is. I love this sack. It is so cute. And so I thought, well, let me go ahead and figure out what I want to put on the front of it. So I found this big die, I mean stamp set. It has dies to go with it, but not for that. But so I decided to stamp trick or treat in the um, crumb cake, which is close to craft that Stampin' Up! has in colors. And I did that on the front and I did some sponging in crumb cake around the edges and around all that. And then that little piece that I showed you earlier, what did I do with that? But that little piece that I said, here it is. This little piece right here, I was like, hmm, let's see what this does. So I ended up die cutting four of them and then I did some sponging on them as well. And I basically 
then used my crocodile, which I haven't used in a long time either. I pulled in my crocodile to to punch some holes because the that little die makes little holes as well, and they're kind of like reinforcements. And so then I had to find some ribbon that I wanted to use because I wanted it to look like it had handles. I didn't want it to just be plain. I wanted something that looked like it was a sack, right? That you would take around when you go trick-or-treating. So that's what I did there. And then I had to go searching through all my designer series papers for Halloween. And I found this one right here. And this was part of the Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper pack. And all I did was, I was falling a little behind this week. And so this has the same little girl here, this stamp set. But here's the cool thing is inside is this die that you would use to die cut her out once you stamp her and color her. But I was like, let me save some time, right? I was looking to ways to save time. So this is one of the many reasons why I love Stampin' Up. They make dies that you can die cut out certain images on the designer series paper. And this one right here, this die cut out this little girl. So I decided to do that. And now you got to talk about perfect, right? So our colors had to be, um, what was it? Purple and orange and one other color. So I was like, okay, check her out. She's got all the neutral colors, but she's got purple and orange. I mean, it couldn't have worked out any better. And then her, her stockings here have kind of like a, yellow in it, gold or whatever. So I decided to make that my third color. So that took care of that as far as my design went. And then I wanted something cause I wasn't sure what I was gonna put for my designer paper on the back. So then I found this paper pack and this one's called uh, Motley Monsters. And I really liked this paper right here and I because I love like it's got the trees and the leaves and the fall and it's got little eyeballs there I just thought it was so cute so I decided to go with that so what I did is once I cut down the designer paper I found this set here called tee hee hee and I like that eek that went perfect on that um tree trunk or whatever there and then I loved this set where it said whether you're a good witch or a bad witch it's all about the shoes so I decided oh I gotta have that so I went ahead and stamped that on the inside and I love that it is so cute and then I took a little piece of that designer paper and put it there on the side so that took care of that. And then, like I said, I die cut her out of the designer paper. And then I like this, have a Wicked Halloween, and this is from Wicked Cool. So I stamped that in the, uh, what is it, Gorgeous Grape on Basic White. And then I pulled in several punches. I wasn't sure which of my punches that I wanted to use so I this one was just a circle and then I started punching the three scallops to see how it was going to lay out and so I thought oh well this was perfect I did gorgeous grape on one scallop and then the bigger scallop I did in the basic black and I layered that all together and I popped that up as well on the card with some black pop dots no, I think I used white pop dots on here. It was the mini black ones that I did for the bats. And then, so on that, I had this punch right here. And I was like, oh, this is perfect. But I thought, do I want to do black foil or do I want to do black glitter paper? So I ended up choosing the black glitter paper, punched 
them out one time here and then I went ahead and put them on the card using some of the I love I love our mini black Stampin dimensionals so I popped that one up and I only popped up that wing and glued that one down because it was on top of that bag and then I popped that one up as well and then I love see there was this these little eyes right there and so I was like oh you know how crafty y'all had hers even there and I thought no I don't want to do that because I don't want to hide those eyes so I kind of did it at a little angle and what I ended up doing was to make sure that I was still going to be okay in the envelope was I laid it down here so that I knew what angle I needed to do so not to go beyond this envelope so that's what I did there and then I went ahead and uh, what else did I do to this? I pulled in, of, so then it, the other thing was the embellishments. So I had, um, where are the embellishments right here? So I had some of these cute stars that came in orange and kind of like a lavender and black. I had some of the little gems here. So I went ahead and put some orange stars on the bag and put three of the purple stars right there, kind of a above her and then I did the three little um, rhinestones in the light purple the darker purple and the black and I put that see if I can get in there see if you can see that put that at the bottom and then that was it I think I think that is so cute I had so much fun designing this and creating it and I gotta tell you I am so thankful to um, that I have become a, a patron of, of uh, Craft Roulette because I have gotten so behind this week on so many things and I was like, oh no, I got to get this, uh, you know, ready so that I could submit it by Thursday at midnight and I knew tomorrow was going to be crazy because it's my Bible study day and I'm cooking this week so I thought, oh, I better hurry up and work on this today. And so that way I can get all the video and all that stuff done so I can get it uploaded in time. So I am so grateful that I have chosen to be a Patreon or patron or however you say it. And um, because that saved me big time again this week. So, and then I thought, well, what am I going to put in a little bag? So I went to the grocery store today since I had to cook for my Bible study tomorrow. And I was going to get a gift card, but I wasn't sure who I was, if I wanted to give this card out. So I went and found these Godiva 72% um, of the Cocoa Dark Chocolate. And they're wrapped in this pretty gold foil. And so two of them fit very nicely in that little bag. So that would be a great gift for anybody or a gift card in there. Now you probably are going to, if you're going to mail it, you would have to probably... Do some extra postage because it's going to be too thick with the candy and all that good stuff in there. You might get by with, if you just do a gift card, where it wouldn't need extra postage, but I don't know about that. So, alrighty there. I hope you liked it. I loved this card. But then again, I think Halloween is fun. So, alrighty. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And I will go ahead and put in the description the link to the episode where we got the parameters for this car this week and I will also um, have a link in there so that you could go uh, learn more about Craft Roulette and how you can get involved because it's a lot of fun and I'm really having a great time with it so alrighty thank you all that follow me on a regular basis I so much appreciate you all and if you're new to my channel and you want to see what I create for Craft Roulette and for my Mojo Mondays and other things that I do, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified when I upload videos, you can just hit that bell icon and, you know, tell that'll let you know when I upload a new video. All right. Well, we'll go for now. And we'll see you next week in the next video when we see what... Uh, Craft Roulette episode number 133 is going to throw our way. 
All right, have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye, and happy crafting.